Charger Pursuit all-wheel drive. Dang, are they coming after us? They're getting closer, hold on, hold on. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a brand new build for the channel. Something unique, something different, and something we always wanted to do, and it is pretty rare. But before we get started, I wanna go ahead and give you guys a quick update on the GT3 Ferrari and on the Spider Ferrari. As for the GT3 Ferrari, we are getting a custom printed wrap, which is gonna take some time, and we're trying to locate a company that will do it. There, all the big companies around here actually are busy for SEMA wrapping all these cars and as for our spider Ferrari we are waiting on some custom handmade front and rear bumpers they're gonna look absolutely insane and we're waiting on a few little miscellaneous pieces underneath the hood and stuff to completely piece this thing back together and for windshield too it's coming in real soon so as soon as all this stuff comes in, we are gonna start working on it. And as soon as we get this thing wrapped, we are gonna jump on it as well. These are some crazy fun builds. But while we're waiting on all this, we got a brand new build so we can put you guys out some great content. So let's go ahead and get that build. There she is, boys. We got a lot of work to do here, so I'm probably not gonna film a lot of this. I'll just go ahead and get it home and we'll talk about it at the house. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Rolling that sucker home. Careful. All righty guys, so we finally just got this thing home. We had to roll it because it wouldn't start. Yeah. And his big old trailer wouldn't fit into our driveway here. Yeah, but boy, we finally got this sucker in dude, here. Dude, this, this is, is crazy. crazy. The only thing, the only main reason why we got this car is probably by this badge right here. Look at dude. that guys. All wheel drive charger, dude. V8, this thing's gonna be insane, but dude. Just to look around it, dude, this is crazy. We got some crazy plans for this thing, but for now we're just gonna like pretty much look over the car. See what we need to get. I mean, there's uh, there's a few parts that we need to get on this car, so we'll go from there. But right now we just wanna just, it says no start. I don't know why it doesn't start. Our booster box is actually dead. We couldn't dead. start it with we our booster box. It. Dang, dude, look at them nice xenon headlights. That um, is sick. That other side is kind of smashed here, so we're gonna have to take apart all this stuff. Hopefully there's no frame damage, but I believe there may be slight frame damage. Yeah, if there is, it's not gonna be major, because I can see the frame rail Yo, right there. The hood is good, but guys, oh, it is good. check That's this out. A Hellcat hood and a supercharger slapped on top of there. Something, we need, a, we need to at least boost this thing with anything, turbo or supercharger. This thing has to be boosted. Dude, and the fact is, it's going to be all-wheel drive. You know what I mean? That's awesome, man. Instead of buying a track cock, we're going to make our own little track cock uh, charger, dude. That's going to be insane. All right, guys. So that video was actually filmed a couple weeks ago because we were just so busy with all these builds, and the car was actually delivered because it was so far away. As you can tell by my hair, by my glasses, it was super early in the morning, around 6 o'clock. So we were just waking up, trying to see what the heck was going on because we had the delivery guy call us, hey, I'm down the road come get your car so it is pretty crazy so let's go ahead and actually bring it inside the garage it doesn't start so we're gonna have to push it in here i don't know why it doesn't start we're gonna figure that out today so let's go ahead and pull this lambo out and bring in our police car So here it is. Before we actually go ahead and pull it out with the Duramax, we want to actually go through this car. We do have a booster box. We haven't even put no power to this thing whatsoever. There's no power at all to this thing. So maybe the battery's dead or maybe there's just a wire cut or something like that because a bunch of wires are right here just sitting around. Max over here already being a canine unit as he is because, you know, yeah. it's just police hey, dog right we there. may have to put canine on the side, put him a cage in there, and he's going to roll around. Oh, we, like we already that. did. We oh yeah, they did. The new shirts are pretty dang fire though. Yeah, they are. S swipe up. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that's Instagram. That's Instagram. But right now, let's go ahead and throw the booster box on it and see, see if we can. Let's see this Hemi though, dude. How do you? <sighs> there we go. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to see this. A lot of these cop cars will be V6s, dude. Yeah, a lot of V6s. Um, I don't know why they go with V6. That's why it's so rare. Yeah, the reason why it is kind of a rare car because it is a V8 Hemi all-wheel drive. I believe only one year they made a RT uh, all-wheel drive for the public. 
but I don't think they do that no more. Now they just do it directly for the police interceptor. So this is pretty crazy and pretty rare and something that we always wanted, a all wheel drive Hemi V8. Basically, like like we said, you can put like some boost to this thing and have like a- the tra You get the Trackhawk uh, performance yeah, kind track of- Trackhawk, all wheel Hellcat drive. Power. Hellcat power, dude. That's, that's exactly what we're trying to do. So if any company out there and want to help us with boosting this thing, either turbos or supercharger, which we're leaning more towards, but right now let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing started. Max, you better not be playing with no toys, man. You're gonna be a canine unit. You're gonna be a, a good working dog. Nah. <laughs> He's just gonna be a, a play dog, I guess. Get him, get him. All right, let's get this thing started, man. Put some juice to it, because the battery was super dead. And uh, the battery's in the back. We're just oh, doing the it to, in these, back, yeah. to these things. So. We can't even open the trunk to the battery because everything's oh, so dead. Oh, if there's something in the trunk? What if there's like some some like handcuffs? Some... Oh shoot, dude! So let's go ahead. I ain't got much power on it. Only 25 percent. Dang, son! He's tearing it up. Squeezing it fast. All, All right. right, I'm gonna have to get rid of that ball, man. <laughs> oh, we got some power, as you can tell by a little classic Dodge light thing that lights up when you open the hood, which been around since uh, 2001. That, dude, you can find those in the Jeep Wranglers. Yeah, they've been around since 2001, but let's go ahead and start this, hopefully start this bad boy up. I don't, I don't know why it says it won't run and drive. Got the key here, should be pushed to start. Yeah, nice push to start. See key. if the seat works. I'm Ooh, going back. Seat, seat's working. Going back. We got 20,000 miles on this V8. 20,800, nice, pretty nice screen. Almost as big as the Hellcat. I think the Hellcat is just a little bit bigger. Nothing, dude. There's just no click or anything. Let's see if there's any codes. There is an engine light. AC's cutting all. Let's see if I can go through these. I think you can go through them on the keypad. Airbag system, Uh, nothing else. So airbag system and engine light is on. Let's clean out all this stuff right there on that side so I can get in over there. Yeah, let's do it. See what we're I don't even with. know what this is. This is probably the car that he hit he or- smacked the... into something. Crazy, let's do it, man. Yeah, he, he had to smack into the bad guys too. What if that, what, what happened, you know, he was chasing somebody and just This completely... is, as I mentioned before, the CERT, S-E-R-T. Special emergency response team. It's basically like SWAT, the SWAT team, but just a little, uh, I heard that it's just a better saying than SWAT because a lot of people don't like the word SWAT. But let's go ahead and open this up and pull all this trash out. I think it's just a bumper off of... Can you tell what kind of car that is? Let me tell you. I'm not going to look at the back. This it's sure does look like a Honda, Honda Civic. Honda Civic, right? Maybe. See? Looks like it. Honda Civic. Some we sort got of... an inner fender. Hopefully this is from our car. We don't need no parts from any other cars, but damn, look at these seats, dude. dude. That's some classics right there. I love the floor, dude. It's dude. all rubberized, dude. You won't ever get it dirty. You know, you just wash it out. We got some uh, some of that air sanitizer. Oh, yeah. You probably need this whenever you like pick up some crazy people out in the back oh, that my. stink. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. <laughs> oh, in the back, let's see what we got here. Got some leather seats. I'm surprised they're, oh, these are not even screwed on. Yeah, he, he must have had a cage back here or something and he just had to, the company or whoever yeah, um, that's pretty crazy. We got some body armor. What Yankee is that? Candle. Air freshener? Leave smell that good. in there. What else? It does there? smell good in here, dude. I wish we had some smell of it. Look at this. This is weird. We got a zip, zip tie. tie around the headrest, which is crazy. Probably hung some stuff up. Look Dang. at the dome light, dude. Where? Oh, <laughs> a Dang. classic dome light. That's a, that's a police dome what light. What is that? They haven't even upgraded that. That's like antique looking. Sucks that they took all the stuff out the center there. You know what I mean? And uh, I think, did this car have like roof lights or anything like that? You know, um, oh, any shoot. lights? I don't see any lights any up front lights in the up. glass. Oh, um, it might have. Oh, look, I think they might have took him or something. Let you can see. barely see him. We got some wires right here. Oh, yeah, they took the front Definitely lights. Really what about the rear, though? They got any back there? Man, that's tinted. Oh snap, we got two little Oh dang. Oh dang. <laughs> that's, that's pretty loose, but we have got two lots. We got two lots. We're gonna have to see if them things work, but I don't think we got any controls. They completely uh, demolished the center console. That's probably why the reason why it ain't starting, which I think I don't know if they took some kind of control module, some kind of computer. So we're gonna go ahead and go through everything. It does have power. Check all fuses. Check all the fuses. Yeah, one big thing is fuses. So let's go ahead and I think there's a fuse box in here, right? Yeah, there should be a fuse box in the side on that side and we also got a fuse box up front here um let's, let's just put some more juice to it and uh, check all these wires as well yeah i want to this is probably from some lights up front or the intercom pa system whatever they have in these cars uh i think this is for the headlight 
everything else is just crushed up here so the frame rail actually looking at the frame rail right here big major thing is frame rails it actually looks pretty straight just like this little piece right here has been a little bit so just like the tip the flange of it or whatever yeah so we're gonna definitely have to dig into this see a lot more but right now we need to get this thing started so we can pull it inside the garage so let's go ahead and go through all these fuses dang are they coming after us they're getting closer hold on hold on spot them out <laughs> put your hands up Dang, son, them, them cop, man, that's a scary sound right there. Yep, hey, one thing that I gotta mention, though, on these chargers, I think this is only the oh, police cruisers, snap. is this little Let device right side here. So I can see it. Check this out, man. This is some awesome technology right here. This is like out of the Dodge truck, you know? They still you have this. You know why this. they have that? It's to, so it's so, so much faster, like in a response or something, you and gotta take off or something? They removed all this for like their computers and stuff, so they can't have a shifter right here. They just slap this sucker right here, which is- And pretty, all you got is park, reverse, neutral, and drive. That's it. That's so you all slap you it all the way down, you're, you're, you're hauling. All right, guys, so check this out. We opened up this fuse box right here, and look what we find. We found this thing that's pretty loose, and we also found a fuse right here. I don't know where this sucker goes. So we're gonna have to figure this out. This may be our perpetrator. Cause usually some, uh, like uh, whenever a car goes into an accident, either the fire department or something will actually pull a fuse so this thing won't start. So let's go ahead and go through all these little things right here and see what we can find, where this actually goes. Cause there's a lot of places. Yeah, it could be like ignition or something. It can go either here, 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 or here. So we got four things. I think these are all spares right here. And I think these are all spares. I think, I don't know. Or maybe not. So but let's yeah, go let's, ahead. Let's plug that perpetrator in. Hopefully, you know, this we're thing's... using cop terms now. You just yeah, perpetrator in right here, <laughs> and hopefully, this thing will start right up. So I'm gonna go through these real quick and see if we can get this thing running. Police bat feed. I uh, wonder if Dang, that's police. This is a police fuse box. Can you police it? bat feed three? Coolant pump, police bat feed one, police ignition run, accelerate. That's what we need, I think. I got a lot of police, police ignition, police ignition. That looks like it got a little hot in there or something. Probably, probably burned a fuse or something. Burned a couple of fuses. There's a lot of police stuff on here. Transmission, police. That's pretty Dang. crazy, you know? I wonder what kind of transmission this thing's got. And I hope that- A police we... transmission. <laughs> That's what it says right here, police. I hope we can, this this transmission can handle like up, upwards of 700 horsepower. Cause that's kind of what we're aiming for. You know what I mean? We want to get a lot of horsepower. You hear that? That was actually a police car right Dang, there. Dang, it sounded good. I bet this thing is going to sound amazing, dude. Dude, we got to do a exhaust on the oh, police car. Oh my gosh. That will sound so cool. Full exhaust with the supercharger. Right, first we'll do the exhaust anyways yeah, definitely regardless but, uh i found i think this number right here is f28 it's sure? a it's just a spare so that one's definitely empty and then the second one f30 is another spare so these are two spares and then i'm going up one two three four five six one two three four five six f33 is a spare too so all these are spares so the only thing this can go this in right is there? right there so what if i that? look that up f uh f f37 i look it up over here f37 is an engine controller and it's a 10a and this is a 10a right Dude. here so engine controller may be the reason why it's not starting so let's go ahead slap this sucker in here and uh see if this thing will start up fired up it's got to fire up i mean it definitely there's no reason why it won't because it is a, a newer car Your... no engine damage i mean we do need to check the check oil. the oil. what i was just about to right say here. let me check this wool Oil is good. Dang, Look at that. Nice and clean for 20,000 miles. That's, yeah. I mean. That's so, no expect. coolant though. Coolant is completely so, gone. So, our coolant system is probably busted. Definitely. So, Which, we can't run it for a long time, but we should be able to run it enough to get it inside the shop. So, let's go ahead, see if this sucker will start up, man. This is exciting right here. Yes, sir, dude. This is crazy, dude. I can't believe it. What if actually. the police siren just turns on as soon as we put power to it? Shoot. You better kill it, man. Are you gonna surround us from all four sides? All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Woo! Dang, son. Hold up. Sounds good. He is purring. Dang, sounds amazing. Go ahead, pull this sucker inside the garage. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, windshield wipers work. Dome light works. No power steering for some oh, reason. Oh, for real? Dang, that's that's tough. Dang, son. What if that's just how the police have to drive, dude? Just work out, you know what I mean? Probably. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Dang, that's drive that right there. smooth, dude. Look at that, that's drive quick. In like two seconds. In reverse, put in reverse. Bam. Damn. One thing. Let's go. Dang. Dang, son. I can't believe you're actually driving a dang interceptor. 
all-wheel drive interceptor. That is crazy. Woo! Okay. Yo! Hey, that's a scary sound when you hear that sucker at night or something. That ain't nothing. It sounds pretty good though, like, ain't gonna lie. I wonder if these things are like tuned or, or whatever. I don't know, maybe. I mean, usually Pleats Interceptors are tuned, like the Fords, I think. So, I don't know about these, it may be. We gotta test it whenever we, we get this thing street worthy, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. We got a bunch of airbags blown in here, but yeah, pull it inside and probably um, start going over all the damage stuff here, the front end and stuff. Oh, you got the spotlight on? Hey, son. Go ahead and kill it. Carbon monoxide don't get us. All right, guys, so as usual, we're probably gonna go ahead and give this thing a nice cleanup from the inside, and then we'll probably pull outside and give it a nice wash as well, get all these leaves off of it, and then we're gonna go through this car and see exactly what the damage is. Right, guys now that we got this thing nice and spotless it looks like a brand new car i mean it does have low miles and it probably wasn't used much but a little bit of dust here and there yeah, a little bit little. of dust i love the leather seats in the back though it turned out nice i'm wondering why they didn't do leather up front you know because these do get really dirty I notice the seat was loose maybe they swapped them out or maybe they just took them out to like remove all that stuff right maybe, there but it should have been leather seats but we did find something crazy while i was wiping this dash i totally did not notice that uh, i thought this was part of the airbag like if you really look it just mm. looks like part of the airbag but actually if you grab this thing it's an envelope of russell county i guess that's where this car is from and it feels like two keys and that's exactly Dang. what that is dude two keys number 25 for the police car 25 so we now have three keys to this car which is awesome dude that's freaking insane that's not all that's there's, not all but wait there's more there's more Dude, um check this out go ahead and you we seen that we didn't even look at it yet. yeah we've seen the little thing and we've seen charger pursuit which is crazy charger Dang. pursuit all-wheel drive so that this base sick. price after everything totals out to be thirty-eight thousand five hundred, and this is insane i mean what is on these police i mean it says police abs four-wheel drive heavy duty disc brakes so we've got Dude. some heavy duty disc brakes a, like an upgraded alternator upgraded battery Shift Spot lever. Spot lamp prep. Heavy duty suspension, dude. Electro hydraulic power steering. I think uh, probably one of the wires got uh, bent pinched or, or something. pinched or something because there's no electric power steering. But look, mini floor console. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. We lost that though. I think yeah, they <laughs> took that interior. This is the interior features, you know, integrated voice command. Oh, that's just all the regular stuff. That is pretty But the sick, optional equipment heavy duty cloth bu bucket seats with vinyl rear seat so that's the vinyl rear seat i guess these are the heavy cloth. duty cloth yeah i mean they are pretty heavy duty they feel really tough but we got the pursuit power mirror with blind spot and manual fold Ooh -wee. and the and we got parking sensors exterior mirrors with heated element front uh reading lamps all that good stuff everything fca fleet powertrain care but dude, this is insane, dude. You take a good look I at that. I love how it says that right there. The Charger Pursuit all-wheel drive. Hey. That's it's exactly what this car is. It's a Charger Pursuit all-wheel drive. I think that's the only way you can get an all-wheel drive Dodge Charger. And this is freaking insane. But right now, let's go ahead, pull this car out, and clean the outside of it. All right, guys. So before we pull this thing out, we're being investigators right now, trying to see exactly what this car hit. We did see a bumper in the back which i don't know they probably just shoved that thing in there from the auction because they do that all the time 
time. But when you get real close to this car, you start looking at the engine bay, you start seeing hair everywhere. And that, that looks like a white tail, a buck right there. That, that's a big buck. Look at the damage that thing did. Yeah, there's a big that buck. was a buck, that was a big one because it bent this. And this thing is actually bolted down to the frame, which is a really strong. They actually hit cars and pit maneuver cars with these things. Yes, sir. And as you can tell, there's a bunch of deer stuff right there. You see all that hair yeah. and nastiness right there. So definitely probably like a 10 pointer hit this thing. Cause it freaking took this thing this, out. It's gotta be at least a 2022. Airbag, all the airbags out and everything. So 22 is, pointer, dude. Since it, the airbags blew, 22 pointer. Yeah, and he could have been like uh, chasing somebody maybe and in a pursuit right now, or something or, just, or on a call. Yeah, on call and could have just ran right in front of him. And bang, dude, destroyed this car. And the bad guy probably got away, which sucks. But, but let's go ahead, pull this sucker out there and give it a nice wash. Woo! Hey. That thing did spin some tires in all-wheel drive. Oh, hold up. Careful. Dang. You're burning rubber. It must be like um, like the GTR, like 50, not 50, 50, but like 60, 40 or something. Well, I think uh, whenever it feels a little bit of slip, it actually puts some power to the front. I don't know how it works, but. We'll do a little bit more testing with this thing when we're done. Man, with we're it. gonna do so much testing with this cruiser, dude. You're Let's not even gonna, it. you're not even gonna believe it. Yeah. Guys, so we got this sucker nice and clean. I mean, just check out the engine bay. Dude, that thing's sparkling now. Just 20,000 miles, looks brand new. But let's go ahead and pull this sucker inside the garage. Try to see if we can open that trunk. And then we're gonna go through all the damages on this car. Let's see it. What's in there? Let's see it, dude. What's in there? Whoa! Oh, we got a spare tire. Yo, it's a police dude, interceptor spare tire. Crazy right here. This is a jack. <laughs> let's pop this sucker out. Dude, is that like a legit police tire? Probably 226018. Dang, these are 18s. Yeah, dude, that's a legit tire. What are those uh, tires called that are like? I'm I'm thinking that these are probably the run flats. Run flats. Can, that's uh, what they're called. Yeah, drive on them when they go flat. I don't know yet. There's probably some tire experts that know a lot about these, but I don't know. Maybe it is run flats. Maybe it's good not. thing we got a spare because we're gonna at least burn out one of these. So the so the trunk, nothing special in here other than the tire shine. I'm I'm happy to see that. Yeah, we got some tire shine which is empty. Probably used oh. it. That's good. You know, so had a clean car. Trunk. But dude, it's crazy, dude. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut this down. Put that spare tire back in there, and let's just go over some of these damages that we got up front. The hood is actually in really good condition. Surprisingly, it didn't get touched at all by the deer or whatever that that hit it, which is crazy because, I mean, just look at that hard impact. Even messed up some of the rails over here, the metal rails and the radiator support. So we're definitely gonna get a new radiator support. Um, probably a new cooling system, all these plastics and stuff. Uh, definitely a front bumper, which we're thinking about doing a uh, Hellcat front bumper and maybe go ahead and do a Hellcat hood just to For make sure, it look dude. a lot more aggressive. And if we can find a good enough deal on all this stuff, we'll probably go with a Hellcat rear bumper overall make this thing look absolutely aggressive but as for this front end definitely gonna get a new push bar and and the wraps they're called headlight wraps so we yeah, need the full package dude we need the full package i mean we need the, that nice mean aggressive looking especially with the hellcat hood and front bumper i think it's gonna look even more crazier but definitely gonna need a new cooling system ac condenser a bunch of stuff probably in the next video we're gonna start taking some of this stuff apart uh we do have some kind of damages to our uh i think this is what is this part the called? Inner fender or a no. wheel well or whatever. Apron, apron. Yeah. Wheel well, apron a little bit has damage right here. So we're we definitely gonna have to out. get that stuff straightened out, pulled out or whatnot. But that's pretty much it for the front end. There's probably a lot more damages underneath that we don't know. Yeah. We're just gonna have to take it all apart. Good thing both of our fenders are good. I'm surprised, dude. Yeah, both of them fenders are good. This one may have have damaged a little bit right here, as you can tell right there, and kind of got pulled out right here. So we'll probably be able to sell, salvage that. Yeah, for sure. But other than that, I mean- Headlight. Headlight, yeah, we need to order a headlight. I think there's Xenons, nice little LED ring around it. Dude, they look sick, Yeah, dude. all that good stuff. And moving on to the interior, basically all of our airbags are blown except for I think the driver roof one. So we got uh, both front airbags that are blown, the knee airbag on the driver's side, 
Um, do these seats have airbags? I don't think so. Oh, right here it says airbags. Oh, Surprisingly, they, they didn't blow, but the roof did on this side. So we're gonna need all airbags, a dash. Didn't we do a dash just like this? We've on the done Hellcat? a Hellcat dash before, so, so this is gonna be a breeze, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers <laughs> crossed. I mean, it, it kind of took a, a bit to take that off, but nothing that we can't do. So we're definitely gonna need new airbags. Um, as for the police car look, we really would like to, for this to stand out a little Dude. bit more, you know, because we're gonna be taking this thing to the drag ship, hopefully, because the all-wheel drive, especially if we go with some boost in there, it's gonna be it's gonna be at the drag ship. So we wanna go ahead and do some of the lights on top, maybe, see if we can get the lights in the back working, something like that. Maybe uh, even go ahead and do what our shirt already does right here the gun squad exactly on it exactly right there so that's dude. gonna be sick gun squad right on the side simply built canine unit with max in the back you know it's gonna be insane and if we can get a cage dude that'd be insane dude. cage it in the back i mean it'll be perfect for max whenever he gets a little older he don't run up in the front seat and it'll be just awesome you know get that full experience of a police car so there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming for this thing we're super excited to do something like this something different something unique like we, like we just mentioned it's freaking insane alrighty guys so that is gonna be a wrap for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed the build be sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything also guys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy one of these cop shirts they're very limited and it's gonna help support your boys and this build as well and also guys be sure to follow us on Instagram at goon squad or you can get inside scoop there before YouTube so with that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>